many that we love have left us. The last stanza. Now the way to give us welcome. Brother, sister, child, and friend. When at last our journey is over, and we pass away from sight, Father, take us through the darkness into everlasting. Shall we please all stand and observe a silent minute to the memory of Evangelist S.K. Danso, church leader, lay chairman, synod member, conference member, and a statement. Family members, they are just to like, please come forward. Come forward. So we are thanking God for the life of evangelist SK Danso as the family members move forward to be prayed for. Yes, some folk I say or some part can you somewhere quite down so to food and coupon Na na she Baby, a papa, SK Dansu, Echo, a woman chain. One so any young so, a year you may yen out freya, and so you are bound chain. A juba power yen 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 As they resume their seats, please be seated. Um, Papa Danso, in his will, indicated that the letter that the Lord gave him, he should share with his church. And in fact, it's not only the Methodist church, so they have carried out all that remaining that of the Methodist church. So, by your kind permission, we'll ask them to do the presentation, sir. Already they have given a thanks offering of 300 Ghana cities and goes to the stewards. Thank you for this opportunity to present this on behalf of my father. Evangelist Samuel K. Danso, the man that my siblings and I, we call him Dada, beloved husband of our beautiful mother, Dr. Dorothy Danso. In our father's will, he made his last will 1993. And in his last will, when it was read, he made two bequests to two institutions or two churches. Ramsey Presbyterian Church, and of course, his beloved Methodist Church. We have given the Ramsey Presbyterian Churches to them already, 
And today I'm standing here to present this to you from Evangelist Samuel K. Danso's will, uh, the new Ghana currency of 10,000 from his will. Uh, or the old currency, 100 million. On behalf of the Methodist Church Ghana, and particularly this cathedral, we want to say we thank you so much. Papa indeed was a stalwart in this church, and we want to thank you for carrying out his wishes. God richly bless you. God bless you. specifically said where's the cathedral but I know the percentages are there God bless you I will serve. I will serve. Yeah, that is Methodism. So, let's give glory to the Lord. Beloved in the Lord, few notices. But before then, yesterday we had a handing over ceremony and one aspect was uh, put on hold for today. And that is the presentation of the certificate of honor. At the revision of the administrative structures, it became necessary that people who serve their tenure should be at least given a certificate of honor. Yesterday we saw some there and today with the permission of the presiding bishop we are continuing. After which the year group of the admin bishop will also do theirs. have about 11 people to honor at this juncture and uh, the first on the list is Mr. Joseph N. E. Neti served as a senior auditor, internal auditor for the Methodist Church Ghana uh, and he has retired and the church has found it fit to honor him. Mr. Joseph N. E. Neti if he's not here the Accra Bishop will take it on his behalf. Followed by Nana Ohime Aure, the fifth, alias Dr. Kwachi Mafu, who also served as the chairman of the Health and Sanitation, Sanitation Directorate. Kumasi Bishop will take that on his behalf. Kumasi Bishop, take that on his behalf. Yes, sir. He will be followed by Major Daniel Ablokwaku, retired Chairman Finance Directorate. Chairman Finance Directorate. Major Daniel Ablokwaku, retired Chairman Finance Directorate. If he's not there, very Reverend Anthony Koba, General Director, should take it on his behalf. And he is followed by Dr. Frederick Mensah Kuchenyo, who served as the Director of Finance 1995 to 2011. Then General Director, General Director for Finance, 1995, 2012 to 2016. It's followed by Mrs. Janet Thompson, sorry, for, yes, Mrs. Janet Thompson, Director, General Ministries, Director, Sister Janet Thompson, Janet Thompson, General Director, Ministry, please take it on his behalf. 
followed by Mrs. Gladys, sorry, Sister Gladys Afacho Odoi, Chairman Communication Publication Directory. Sister Afacho Gladys Afacho Odoi, Chairman Communication and Publications Directory. Followed by the very Reverend Echo C, who has served as a director for the Methodist Afiki Village for about nine years. He is followed by the very Reverend Dr. Isaac Nana Abeka, Director, Youth Ministries and Development Director. Winneba Bishop. Opposite Bishop can take for Brother Echo C. And Right Reverend Wabudum can also take for Nana Abaka. Echo C. Then we have. The very Reverend Solomon Jamra, Director History and Archive, History Archives and Library Directorate. Very Reverend Solomon Jamra, Director History, Archives and Library Directorate. We also have the Right Reverend Thomas C. Bafo, who serves as the Chairman, Youth Ministries and Development Directorate. And I think this will be the turn of the year group for. Sorry. I will say, I will say, we are delighted to have with us today our brother who is the second gentleman of our nation, the president of His Excellency, Brother Papu C. He will address us and bring the greetings of the nation to our church. Amen. Presiding Bishop, immediate past presiding Bishop, the past presiding Bishop, the lay president, and the lay chairman, and the bishops. Let me say that I've come here this morning representing the President of our Republic with the Minister of the Ashanti Region who's just had to step out, his Deputy Minister who is standing by me, and the National Vice Chairman of the National Democratic Congress, and the Regional Chairman, and the colleagues, both at the national and at the regional level, to pay our respects to the Right Reverend Boafo and to all people of faith who have gathered here for his induction service. We are here principally to cement the relationship between the state and the church, the relationship we cherish very much and which we hope will grow 
as we go along. We know there will be tensions, but we are resolved that between the church and the state will work out and iron out all the problems so that this country will continue to grow in peace and stability. That is my role as vice president and as representing the state here. But I'm altogether born in a family, a Methodist family, and I'm glad to be among family today. And in my reading of history and of biographies, I know that most of the great leaders of this world have come from very humble beginnings. I think it's more difficult for the children of the rich and powerful to become rich and powerful because they are not tested at an early age. There's a testing from villages such as No, as, as a Gregoire and Bordier and Ahibenso and all those Seshi villages. I know that if you come from there, you wouldn't get, get a big shoe to put um, newspaper in. There will be no shoe. There was no shoe at all. So we know that the Lord has lifted you and I know that he will use you for great things. So we wish the right Reverend Paul Boafo very well in his new position. He's, um, as the presiding bishop has said, he's here as Ankobia Hene to sit in the back room and make sure that everything works well for our church. So I thank you. I know that, the, as I said, the great leaders come from humble beginnings. I, I've been to Eswapwa, the, the holy village of the Most Reverend Abwaji Mensah. I'm waiting for an invitation to the holy village of Most Reverend Imamwe Kwasante. And then I'll know that all of them have come from very humble, modest beginnings, and they have done great things for our church, and we know our church will continue to grow in the Lord. I thank you very much, and I wish you well. Excellency, we thank you so much for finding time to be with us. Though you are a family, yet your assignment as a national figure takes you far and wide. You managed to be here with us today. Thank you so much. As you return with your entourage, go with the peace, prayer, and blessings of the Methodist Church, indeed, all Christians in this country. To the head of state, His Excellency John Ramani Mahama, govern the people of Ghana that we are suddenly behind you, the government, and we are praying that peace and justice will take hold of the heart of this country, and that what we anticipate a few weeks' time will bring blessings rather than chaos to our nation. Go and the peace of God remain with you and our government and all the peoples of Ghana in Christ's name. Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Silent Bishop, on behalf of His Excellency, the Vice President, Parkwesi Emisata, he said he can't come here and leave the administrative bishop just like that. He came with a 
very humbled, quiet envelope to be given to the presiding or the administrative bishop for this great day. Thank you. Presiding Bishop, sir. Presiding Bishop, members here regarded. 1986 year group to which um, Right Reverend Dr. Buafu belongs were commissioned 30 years ago into ministry and we would love to invite all ages this year group with our spouses please come forward as we get the spouses and ages please come so we present our gift to our brother and sister Presiding Bishop, sir. Presiding Bishop, acknowledged. Thank you. Past presiding bishops, bishops, lay president and lay chairman, friends, we have a, a very short citation for our brother and friend. Since you are standing behind me, you have to carry your own load. The 1986 Methodist graduates of the Trinity Theological Seminary Legon, Ghana, are proud to be associated with you as a distinguished member of our year group. In our years of ministerial travel, you have played a great part in keeping us in touch with each other as we have sought to encourage one another in the service of the Lord. We give all the glory to God that exactly 30 years after our commissioning into the ministry of the Methodist Church, Ghana, in June 1986, the Lord, working through the wisdom of the Methodist Conference, has appointed you to serve the people called Methodists as the administrative bishop. Throughout your life and ministry, you have been privileged to serve in various leadership positions in all these capacities, whether as circuit minister, superintendent, or university chaplain, your humble, warm, and constructively engaging approach to leadership has been evident to all. On the occasion of your assumption of office as the Administrative Bishop of the Methodist Church Ghana, we celebrate your life and ministry. Our collective prayer is that during your tenure of office, the Methodist Church Ghana in general, and her administrative ministry in particular, will blossom and flourish in the grace of God and the power of his might. We recognize that but for the grace of God in Christ alone, none of us 
would have been deserving of the call to such high office of responsibility in the church of God. May the abundant grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the unfailing love of God, and the abiding fellowship of the Holy Spirit forever continue to illumine your life and ministry as you serve God's people. And may you, your wife Helena, and the entire family continuously enjoy the Lord's goodness and mercy during your tenure as administrative bishop of the Methodist Church Ghana and beyond. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved, be steadfast, immovable, always excelling in the work of the Lord, because you know that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Amen. Abaka Wilson, Akushi, Amwabing, Athamensa, Asamwajedu, Beiding, Donko, a second Donko, that is a Fori Donko, Edusa Eisen, Jabeng, Chenebua Kodia, Mensa, Osei, Osei Kufuo, and Owusu James. From all of us and our wives with our hearts, with our spouses, from our hearts to you. To Paulus, alias Kwazai. Beside the bishop, sir, we also have a parcel for our brother and uh, spouse. President, sir, before the cruising him, before the cruising him, uh, the administrative bishop has been with the men's fellowship for a very long time, both at the Dyson level and the connection level, and they are here to make a presentation. After that, the commercial diocese will follow, and that may end it. President, sir. Uh, right Reverend Boafo has been the diocesan chaplain for Kumasi Diocese for a long time and he's been helping the men's fellowship all along connectionally and on behalf of the diocese and on the connection we are presenting this to you for your immeasurable role, dedication, service and contribution to the positive cause of the Kumasi Diocese of the Association of Methodist Men's Fellowship over the years confers on you this award of excellence to your present uh, position. Do the presentation. In addition, we have an envelope here from the diocese to you, the executive council and diocese and advisory council to you and the wife, and the connectional secretariat of the Association of Methodist Men's Fellowship to you as well. And may God bless you with your work. Thank you. Right. President, sir, the administrative bishop has served in the Kumasi Diocese for over 10 years continuous. Even before then, he was here, before he went away and came. He had his training here as a teacher. He taught in Kumasi Diocese before he went to Accra, then he came again. So, um, Professor Amapris, 
On behalf of the Kumase Diocese, uh, we do this presentation to the Right Reverend Dr. Paul K. Boafo, the Administrative Bishop, and the family. Um, President, it's unfortunate there are a lot of groups here, but time will not allow us to uh, take all the presentations. There is a table outside there. Please go there. In fact, well, the best Methodist secondary school, Wenchi Secondary School, they are here, but unfortunately, the time. Um, Wenchi, if you are here, please wave and let's see you. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, after the service, we're taking a photograph, group photograph. So, all the old faces we show. Thank you. I learned multimedia was also here. They wanted to make a presentation. And, President. President, um, Mame Boafo has been on that program, radio program, for over 10 years. And with your kind permission. Yes, sir. Multimedia, please, quickly. Mama, as um, your name on radio, this is from Multimedia for partnership with us for 10 years. You have been a blessing to the whole nation and then the international scene. We've won five awards this year, all because of you. This is our token. Then I'm also presenting this to you, not because you are called Boafo, but it's from the Connectional League Movement as a whole. The Connectional League Movement is a movement of the entire Methodist Church Ghana, which comprises clergy and lay. And therefore, we present, on behalf of the Connectional League Movement, I present this simple envelope to you. And the, uh, no, normally I'm reputed for giving envelopes to the women. And God bless you. Admi Bishop, this one comes from the management and staff of African Development Bank. Agriculture Development Bank. Agriculture Development Bank, ADB. Sorry, Agriculture Development Bank. Presiding, sir, we want to continue with the notices. Since we are all aware of the dates for the other inductions, I need not bother you so much with that. A few hope calls. Next Sunday will be the induction of the second D bishop in the person of the Right Reverend Daniel DeGraft Brace. Uh, since we have mentioned his name, probably many of us uh, who are not clergy we not know him. Reverend, all right, Reverend Brace, could you please be upstanding for us to see you? Yes. As a gentleman, we're going to induct next Sunday. Uh, to be followed by the induction of the Bishop of the Takwa Diocese in the person of the right Reverend Thomas Ampon Sandonko. Kofi? Uh -huh. That will be on the 23rd. And on 30th, we shall come. Uh, we shall go to Cape Coast for the first group of the lay chairmen, comprising Brother Titus D. Isel, Joseph K. Ado of Accra, Isel is Cape Coast, Kinobu Akudia, Second D, Nicholas Taylor, Wediba, Joseph K. Amponsa Takwa, Edward Mensa Achimoda, and Tema Richard Stanley Quashin. They will be inducted on 30th. October 2016 at Bantama Ebenezer. Sorry, sorry. Kumase, I am a day. Cape Coast Wesley Cathedral. Sorry, Cape Coast Wesley Cathedral. They will be inducted there. Then the next group, comprising Professor Seth Upinesiam of Kumase Diocese, Samuel B. Mason Jr. of Kofodia Diocese, Sister Grace Amwako of Siyan Diocese, Brother Victor Kwablatete of Northern Ghana Diocese, 
Brother Stephen Akrajima of Efugiasi Diocese and Nana Okandakwa of Obuasi Diocese. They will be inducted on the 6th of November 2016 at Bantama Ebenezer Methodist Church here in Kumasi. Let's take note and come in our numbers. The last but not the least induction and inauguration service will be that of the newly created Nkoko Diocese from the Koforidia Diocese. And the inauguration of the diocese and an induction of the bishop in the person of Right Reverend John DeGraff Pridi. He is here. Please, could you be upstanding for us to see is okay, he stepped out. And the late chairman, Sister Paulina Osabuti. She's also here. Yes, they will be inducted on the 13th of November 2016 at Nkoko Ebenezer Cathedral. We are all invited to come and grace the occasion as we have done today. Besides, sir, a few home calls. We want to also remind members we have already communicated the home call of our father, the late right Reverend Joseph Yudu Benaman. And the funeral arrangement as follows. Friday, 28th October, the burial service will be held at the St. Paul Cathedral, Tema, starting at 7 a.m. The interment will be done at Ampia Jumakun, where he has that wonderful museum uh, donated to the Methodist Church on Saturday, 29th October, 2016. The leadership of the church is inviting all of us to come and celebrate the life of this great man of God, the nation, and the world. We also announce to you the home call of the Right Reverend Dr. Joseph Kogani, former bishop of the Winneba Diocese. And the barrier arrangement is as follows. 4th November, 2016, the funeral service will be held at Ebenezer Cathedral, Winneba, followed by the family gathering. We are all again invited to celebrate the servant of God and console the family. We also announce to you the home call of Mrs. Hega Sego, the wife of the very Reverend Kweku, James Kweku Sego, one of our supernumeraries. And the barrier arrangement as follows. 4th November 2016, the barrier service will be held at Amia in near Ejumako. And the family gathering will be on Saturday, 5th November 2016 at Amia. We also announce you the funeral arrangement of the late Florence Adum Edu, wife of the very Reverend Isaac J. Edu, former chaplain of the Wesley Grammar High School and Sopon High School. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Headmaster of the Wesley Grammar High School and Sopon High School. And the burial service is on Friday, 18th November 2016 at the Wesley Cathedral, Cape Coast at 7 AM. All of us are invited to come and console the family. We also have the final funeral rites for the late Mrs. Sarah Andam, wife of our father, the very Reverend Alfred S. Andam, and the mother of the Bishop of the Kumasi Diocese, right Reverend Christopher N. Andam. And the funeral service is on Friday, 25th November 2016 at Aguna and Sabah. All of us are invited to come and support the family in the celebration of the life of our mother. Beloved in the Lord, we have also received a home call of our one of our number, our mother, our sister, Eva Loku, and the funeral arrangement will be announced to the entire church later for us to mourn with the family. We also have here the death of Brother Fred Osam Dudu, former Black Star coach and the brother of our. Uh, um, Past late President Timothy Osam Dodu and uh,
funeral arrangement will be announced to us later on. The Bishop of uh, Kumasi will add one to it. President, sir, Mr. F. L. Adonte, conference member, the date for his burial service is Friday, 11th November 2016 at the Ijabetel Methodist Church, Kumasi. Then Mrs. Aqua, wife of the diocesan administrator, Osofu Solomon Aqua, that will also take place on 17th November 2016. Thank you, sir. Beside him, we also announced a home call of very Reverend Jacob Boahe. And the funeral service will be held on 12th November 2016 at Brecombe. Let us all go and support the family in celebrating the life of our brother. Presiding, sir, we have few acknowledgments. With your permission, if I may continue. Thank you, sir. We have in our midst, beloved in the Lord, the chief servant of the Methodist Church of Ghana, who also delivered the sermon to us, and you have the spouse also here. And if I mention the names, please, all the spouses here, may you humbly stand up for us to acknowledge you. He is the person of the most reverend, Titus Ski, our great prayer, the presiding bishop. Papa, thank you so much for being with us. We also have the late president in the person of Brother Kwame Ejapon Bwafu, and our mother is also here. Thank you so much for being with us here. We have with us our immediate past administrative uh, bishop, the Right Reverend Kuku Asamwa Ochre. Amada Agi is also here. Papa, thanks so much for the work done. We also have in our midst the immediate past presiding bishop in the person of Professor Emmanuel K. Asante, worshiping with us. Amada Comfort is also here. Then we also have the past presiding bishop. Dr. Robert K. Abaji Mensa and our mother too is here. Then we also have past administrative bishop in the person of Right Reverend Albert Ofe Wright and our mother too is with us here. On his left we have uh, the general secretary for the Christian Council, the Reverend Dr. Upni Frimpong. Papa, we are grateful to you for coming down from Accra to support us. We have also in our midst almost all, all of our past lay president here worshiping with us. Uh, we have the Professor Atu Isuman who is here with us. Prof, I think he stepped out. We have Mrs. Naomi Okai. He's also, oh sorry. We have Mrs. Araba Atasam with us. Yes, Mama, thank you so much. We have Mrs. Georgina Baden, who is also worshiping with us, Mama. Thank you so much. And we have Brother James E. Abadubru, who is also with us. And we have Papa Timothy Osam Dudu, who is also worshiping with us. You can see from behind all the diocesan uh, sorry, diocesan uh, bishops who are also worshiping with us. Please, with all humility, could you be upstanding for us to acknowledge your presence, all our bishops? We also have the past bishops sitting. Hmm, the, the pulpit has covered their faces. They are all behind, strongly behind the scene, praying powerfully uh, for the success of this program. Papa, with all due respect, could you be upstanding? At least some of us who could see you. Yes, almost of our past uh, bishops are there. On my left, we have uh, our lay chairman of the diocese. Both present and even past. Please, with due respect, could you be outstanding for us to acknowledge your presence? Thank you so much. You've come in your numbers. We also have the Minister Spouses Association and the executives who are also worshiping with us here. Please, uh, spouses, could you be outstanding for us to acknowledge your presence? Ministers, spouses, thank you so much for being here. Presiding, it will interest us to know that. A contingent from the head office are here from the least uh, to the, the, the highest 
yes to the boy to support the boss from the cleaner to from security secretaries and directors what have you head of staff group be outstanding for us to see you came in your numbers and you were dancing beautifully thank you so much thank you so much uh, we have Mrs. Charlotte Roxon, principal of the Wesley College, uh, Wesley College of Education, who is also worshiping with us here. And the husband, and the husband, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We have our sister for the uh, Methodist Women's Training, Sister Arita Ama Grihamadai, who is also worshiping with us. Arita, and your husband is here. I suppose so. Your husband is here. Oh, she couldn't come. Okay. We have the principal of the Methodist, the new principal of the Methodist University, uh, Professor Asabre, who is also Amaya Asabre Amaya, who is also worshiping with us. Papa, could you be upstanding for us to acknowledge your presence? Yes, far away over there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Beside him, we cannot do without the presence of some of our chiefs here. And with all humility, I want to mention their names. We have Nana Akusia Achiamadi Ted Jabin Hema, who is worshiping with us. We also have Tetrete Ukuamwa. Sikim the second on my of Wasa and Memphi traditional area. Nana, thank you so much. We have Nana Edubuahini from Asenkregua. Nana, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Then we have Nana Bua Krupa the second Wasa and Memphi traditional area. And they came with their entourage. Nana no me da masipi and munyamwa. We also have on our list Reverend Professor Charles Ansa, Pro Vice Chancellor, representing the Vice Chancellor Professor Kwesi Ubrid and so thank you very much. Beside we have Reverend Jonathan E.T. Kuwono Ajaoto, Acting Protestant Chaplain, uh, Department of Religion, Religious Studies. We also have Reverend Father Dr. Peter Adai. Adai means a Catholic chaplain who is also worshiping with us. Then we have William Gariba, I hope I'm right, Vice Dean of the Students. Presiding at this juncture, I want to hand over the microphone to the new administrative bishop to respond and probably introduce few uh, to introduce his people around, sir. Presiding, sir, the lay president, past presiding bishops, past lay presidents, bishops, lay chairmen, past lay chairpersons, all officers of the Methodist Church, Ghana. Allow me to then address the rest of you as brothers and sisters in the Lord. Today is a humbling day for me, reflecting on what has happened here and all that I am witnessing for your presence here is so humbling and I would have wished to introduce each and every one of you and acknowledge you to show how delighted I am that you have defied the rain and the weather to come here and even to stay up to this time I am so humbled 
and I am grateful to all of you. By presiding, sir, I would like to use this opportunity once again to introduce again and the rest of the Nananom who have come and traveled all the way from Wasa Ekropon and Asen to be here and also acknowledge some of the church members who have come from the places that I have pastored. The first has already been introduced, but let me say that he is my Omaihin. Tetrete Ekuamwa Sechim the second. He's not just the Omaihin. Before this time, he was the lay chairperson of the North American Mission Diocese. Yes. Tetre of the Methodist Church. So he is a true and true Methodist. Nana Yamuakwaba. That's right. Nana Bua Krapa the second Wasa Memphi Jasehine. Nana Yaicha, our Queen Mother, is also here. Thank you. Nana Amwesi, Chief of Wasa Ankunsia, where I schooled and the chief of Bishop Jabin. Bishop Jabin, that's where Bishop Jabin comes from. Ochiami Nyako. He's also here. Nana Emma Kwaba. Then from Asankrewa, we have Nana Edubwahin. Jase Hine Asankrewa. Nana Kofi Amwakun Tufuhine Asankrewa. Nana Blay Damkwa Mrantie Ehene. Because I'm an Abrantie, he has come to support me. Yes. Nana Nom Yamoma Kwaba, Kwaba, Kwaba. Samoja Mubibia and Mababeta Moba Echi. For the societies in which I have said, I cannot write my history or life history without mentioning the first teaching I said. And they are here. They were the first to arrive at the cathedral this morning. They called me when I was still preparing to come over. Achim Ochreso in the order. Muaha, Monsare, Niyamu. Aha. Ochreso for Omonso Aha. In Pasetia, where I candidated, and at In Pasetia, I'm known as Wofa, because in school, that's what the children called me. In Pasetia Circuit, In Pasetia Circuit, I saw some of them around. Right, In Pasetia, they are also here. We also have New Achimota, New Achimota Circuit, that is Central Hill, that's right, New Achimota, they are here. North Accra, Calvary, North Accra, Baby Maminim, Suffolk Grant. We also have Asukwa Christ the King, Asukwa Christ the King, Asukwa Christ the King. Kentin Chrono St. Paul. Kentin Chrono St. Paul. Aldersgate. Aja Annex. It's a small society. Aldersgate. Aja Annex. Right. They are outside. And then Bethel Methodist. Aja. Aja. Prof. Jackson. Prof. Uh, yes. That's right. They are all here. I can't mention names. Yes. And uh, that's where the new lay chairman of Kumasi Diocese worships. That's uh, Bethel, Professor Siama. Yes. Men's Fellowship, for which I was their uh, chaplain. They are here. For Christ and for Christ. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. I also want to say a very big thank you to the Connectional Lay Movement for the support that you have given me. Then back to the school. Asmafo, that's Winchi Secondary School, the one and only Methodist school that you can get. Asmafo, always on top, always on top. Because of time, the presiding, they wanted to sing the school anthem, but because of time, we've asked them to shelve it. Any time we meet somewhere when there is time, we will allow them to sing it for us. That's Wesley College, Code Bonum Estenete, hold fast to that which is good. My principal is here. My principal is here, Mrs. Roxin. She has been introduced. My classmates, the class of 1986, we are pace setters. We set the pace for all others to follow us. And we continue to set the pace. And we continue to set the pace. Yes. Thank you, class of 1986. Presiding, sir, some members of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology have been introduced, but let me ask that all senior members, senior staff, junior members, in status populari, the students, alumni who are here, please, will you be upstanding to take a bow? All who have come from KNUST to support me, please. Thank you, thank you. For time's sake, we cannot mention all the names. The vice chancellor is represented by freshest pro vice chancellor, Reverend Professor Charles Ansan. That's right. He is a Presbyterian minister, and he is the he, he is in the pharmacy. Pharmacy, yes. The SRC is also represented. Presiding, let me now move to my family members who have come to support me. Uh, you heard that one word from my profile, and I want to start from there. Yes, only one word. Please keep it. Don't forget it. An amazing roommate and a wonderful roommate, Helena, Helena Boafu. Helena. My in-laws are also here. And uh, I will ask that please you all stand and for you to be acknowledged. All of you, all of you, they are all here. Uh, Reverend, very Reverend William Mensa. And uh, yes, the rest, they are all here. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming to support, to support. KNUST Local Council of Churches, KNUST Local Council of Churches are also represented. Father, will you stand for, yes, he is now the new chairman of the Local Council of Churches. The students we work with on campus, Gamsu, AGCM, Lighthouse and all the Protestant community. But let me ask that if Gamsu is here represented, they should stand, take a bow, and represent the Student Chaplaincy Council. Gamsu, ambassadors, ambassadors, and ambassadors. Presiding, sir, before I take my seat, I would want to, on behalf of the family, say a very big thank you to the Methodist Church Ghana. I am indebted to the church for making me who I am. From my uncle, John Bennett in Sunwakwesi, who brought me and who nurtured me and took me through all his itinerancy. And this time, 
resting with the Lord. But the church saw something in me and brought me up to this time. I am so indebted. And this morning, from the charge you have given, I pray that I, through the power of the Holy Spirit, will also contribute my part to what the fathers and the mothers have done so that our church will continue to be the church for the people. We'll continue to be the church God's spirit dwells within it. We'll continue to be the church that brings salvation to the people. We'll continue to be the church that continues to spread scriptural holiness by our revered father, John Wesley. Finally and finally, to my immediate boss. That's my administrative bishop. I have known you from Trinity. And today, as you hand over to me, I know that the network and the path will not cease to cross. But we would keep the bond and continue to work together. I will say a big thank you to the vice president for coming over. But we met casually at the valedictory service of Papa Asamoachri. We did not even invite him then. But he said, Paul, I'll be at your induction service. We never did a follow-up. But because he loved the church and because he wants to see us also go through our turn, he has been here with his team. And we want to say a very big thank you through you to him. We believe that he has done so much for us and we want to acknowledge that. On that note, my family members are also here. My family members, my brother, led by my brother, Pastor Kwesi Buafo. Pastor Kwesi Buafo. Those who have come from my sanctuary, my sister, Teresa Buafo. Teresa, yes, they have come from my sanctuary to support me. For them, if I had not mentioned their names, they would not chop off my head. I know. Yes. But I appreciate all that you have done. And I say to all of you, thank you and thank you and thank you. What we will request of you is your prayer support as we come to face this daunting task as you heard in the charge. Following the first step of my teacher, my administrative bishop, Papa Kweku Asamochri, it's not that easy. But your prayer support, I know, will go a very long way. Presiding, I am done. Thank you. Sudden, sir, with all humility, I made a very serious oversight. I want to apologize. And we have one of our fathers, the past conference secretary, in the person of the Right Reverend Dr. Bru Riverson. He came to sit behind us. I wrote his name. Yeah, he's sitting over there. Papa, we are so grateful to you for coming to be with your son. Thank you so much. That our father. Great, great, great. Then also. Brother Benasi Kebuki, the lay president elect, he's also worshiping with us. The names are here, but there was an oversight. Papa, sorry. Thank you very much for that. I also want to inform you that the DVD, am I right? Yeah, for the program that we are having, it's ready. It's going out for five cities, produced by the Methodist media. And it is our own media. Let us support it and grow it. Thank you very much. Bishop. Recession is at the diocesan um, office. Recession. From here, we move to the diocesan office for the recession. Thank you.
please few funeral announcement that we cannot do without so we beg you we beg you from the Wesley Cathedral me from cho Wesley Emma and Shannon so ebusi afo no wo ha mo ma mo honya ha na momra ma me Elizabeth Kese a e fere na akue free ye be sie no me me da e be e woni fie e be Pentecost Cross Room ye be kwa ko sie no e wo anka se e fie ja Meme da na ebe ye ye nwa West Coast Practice School. Ne kwesi ya da ebe ba be ye na siye sum nwa ha. Afe ye na na efia be ma the first. Es mo re hima. A ebe nko diye. Ono si ad nebe tum pe mo ya wada ebe e wo mo re a hinfiye. Ebe siye nwa ha. Meme da ebe ba be ye ye nwa New Swami Methodist School. A na kwesi ya da no so so one more corner, see us soon. I will down well, Methodist. May that man say. Please, uh, from the Cape Coast Bishop, the funeral a service for uh, Amada Higasego is next week, 11th Friday. It's been changed because of Bishop Ghani's one. So, Sister Higa, a Sego's funeral at uh, Ijumako Amia is on Friday. 11th. Thank you very much. Friends, we bring the service to a close as we sing the hymn 586 from the Methodist hymn book. Take the third stanza. No, sir. For the quiver, the massive the massive the you be say we and Rasimara, the by Yes Christ Demo. Amen. 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 
Nimonyam Ninyansa Niaseda Nidivini to me Niahuwaden Baye Yankopon De Ara The service is over. Go in the power of the Holy Spirit to live, witness, and work to God's praise and glory. Amen.
Thank you. 